In this task, we're going to explore state map projections. So the state plane coordinate system, uh, shortened to SPCS, was developed to provide simple rectangular coordinate systems for large-scale mapping uses, and again, large-scale meaning a small area of the Earth, uh, such as surveying and engineering projects. The SPCS is a series of separate coordinate systems, each covering either an entire state or a portion of a state. The SPCS is only used in the United States of America and, therefore, it's not appropriate to use SPCS for any other countries or regions of the world. SPCS is popular due to its high accuracy in large-scale mapping because of the relatively small size of each SPCS zone. The SPCS is composed of 120 zones which follow county boundaries, except in Alaska, and often divides the state into multiple zones. There are two main projections used with SPCS. States of the north-south axis are mapped using the transverse Mercator projection and designate zones between the range of north and south. So, for example, Minnesota North would be a zone name. States with an east-west axis are mapped with the Lambert conformal projection and designate zones between a range of east and west. So, for example, New Mexico Central. The original state plane system, developed in the 1930s, was based on the North American datum of 1927, with coordinates measured in feet. Today, the state plane system is based in the North American datum of 1983, and coordinates are in meters. The coordinate grids covers small areas with minimal aerial or distance distortion. For small states, one grid is sufficient, while for larger states, there are more required to cover the entire area. Alaska, for example, needs 10 uh, zones. The state plane system, therefore, is only appropriate for mapping small earth areas, such as the smallest states, city grids, or local regions. Your study area will need to fit within a state plane zone to, have an, to be an appropriate choice of coordinate system. The smallest states, which only have one state plane zone, can be represented in their entirety using the SPCS. So let's create a map of Vermont using the state plane coordinate system. Vermont is one of the smaller states and it only has one state plane zone. So in QGIS, we are going to open uh, the Vermont.QGIS uh, project and note that the uh, projection is WGS84 by clicking Project Properties and going to the CRS tab. And notice we are in WGS84 here. <clears throat> and so um, since on the fly CRS is not enabled, uh, we're seeing Vermont in an unprojected state. So to make the map of Vermont uh, show up in SPCS, uh, we have two options. Uh, one, enable on the fly CRS transformation and select NAD27 Vermont coordinate system, or project the Vermont shapefile uh, into the NAD27 Vermont uh, state plane coordinate system, and then set the project's coordinate system to match. So enabling on-the-fly CRS transformation will allow us to work with data and that are in different map projections in the same QGIS project. However, sometimes it's best to project the data into its native uh, coordinate system that you want to use uh, to map it since it'll have the advantages of not requiring QGIS to calculate the transformations on the fly and analysis operations will be more predictable and accurate. So let's project the Vermont shapefile into the NAD27 Vermont coordinate system and set the project coordinate system to match. So to do that, I'm going to close my project properties. I'm going to right click on Vermont and I'm going to click Save As. <clears throat> and this is going to open the Save Vector Layer As dialog box. And so I'm going to set the following options to project the Vermont layer, save it to a new shapefile, and then add it to the map. And so for the format, we're going to select Esri Shapefile. <clears throat> for Save As, I'm going to go into my lab directory here. And I'm going to name this uh, Vermont SPCS.shape. I'm going to hit OK. For the CRS, I'm going to click Browse. And I'm going to find the NAD27 Vermont. Uh, but I know the EPSG code is save time, so that's 32045. There we go. And that's under the projected coordinate systems. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to check Add Saved File to Map and hit OK. And so QGIS is now going to project my shapefile into the uh, NAD27 Vermont State Plane Coordinate System, and it's going to add it to my map. And of course, uh, your results may vary with the color because they are random. And so while Vermont currently looks the same, uh, we're going to find out soon why, why, that, uh, why it looks the same and nothing's different. So uh, for instance, if I turn it on and off, it looks like nothing really happened. Uh, but let's see what's really going on here. So I'm going to click Project, Project Properties, uh, CRS, and notice Enable On-The-Fly CRS Transformation is enabled. 
And so remember, it was not enabled before. We just looked at it. And so uh, WGS is the selected and current uh, project CRS as well. So this happened because Q just realized that layers in the project had different CRSs. And so uh, with on the fly CRS enabled, which is what Q just did, the two from Vermont layers still display on top of each other. If on the fly CRS transformation was not enabled, the two Vermont layers would not display on top of each other or even on the same map at all. If you wish to modify the behavior of QGIS and its automatic management of on the fly CRS transformations, you can set the behavior options by clicking, let me show you here, uh, settings, options, CRS tab, mm, there we go, and you can change the object, uh, prop, uh, and CRS properties here and here as well. Okay, so let's get back to looking at the map. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to change the project CRS to match our SPCS Vermont shapefile. And so first we need to set the style of the SPCS Vermont to match the WGS884 Vermont. So we have a, a much better uh, color, not this, uh, this ugly color here. And so I'm going to right click on the original Vermont and I'm going to choose copy style. I'm then going to right click on the Vermont SPCS and I'm going to paste the style. And now they both look the same. And so I'm going to remove the original Vermont now by right clicking and clicking on remove. And then I'm going to set the project CRS equal to my Vermont SPCS CRS by right clicking on it and choosing set project CRS from layer. And so now you should see that Vermont got skinnier um, as it is now being displayed in the NAD27 Vermont SPCS um, coordinate system and not WGS84. And so we're going to uh, click project, project properties and select the CRS tab. And so notice that on the fly is still selected, but the new CRS is NAD27 slash Vermont. So look at the selected CRS parameters at the bottom of the properties window. So that's these right here. Note that the projection is using transverse Mercator. So that's the project equals T mark right there. Oops, missed. And the scale factor is K equals, and so that's going to be this one here. And so here's our K value. Um, and so that's our scale factor. And the spheroid is Clark 1866. Uh, however, this is not shown in the CRS parameters because the default spheroid is Clark 1866, if not otherwise specified. Um, however, if we did explicitly want to specify it, we would type in ELLPS equals CLRK66. Now the central meridian is negative 72.5, so that's the lawn zero right here, uh, which runs through the center of the state. And the reference latitude, or y origin, is 42.5, uh, which is just south of Vermont. And so that's the lat zero, and that's this one right here. The false easting is set to 152,400.30480. Meters, um, and so that's this one here, uh, and that's equivalent to 500,000 feet. Uh, the false northing is set to zero, so that's the y zero uh, equals zero. So the false, so the false origin will be to the west, 500,000 feet west of negative 72.5, and south 42.5 of the state of Vermont. So we're going to click OK to close the project properties. And uh, let's see here. So I want you to scroll around the state and notice the changing coordinates. Right. So as I move around here, see the changing coordinates. If you have a USGS topographic map of any part of Vermont based on NAD27, the coordinates displayed here will match the SPCS coordinates shown on the hard copy map. Now, if you try mapping other states using the state plane coordinate system, uh, you're going to uh, notice, you know, uh, the, uh, you know coordinates are going to change based on where you are and they're going to all be positive and so one of the nice things about the SPCS is that uh, they put the state in the first quadrant of the Cartesian coordinate system so that you don't have to deal with negative numbers. Um, now um, keep in mind when you're using the SPCS with other states um, although an entire state will display if you select one of these zones, uh, only the area that is actually a part of the zone, this SPCS zone, will actually be projected serviceably. 
Um, so uh, the larger states will have multiple zones and so you'll want to make sure you are mapping only a portion of the state and that portion that you're mapping uh, you'll set the CRS to the zone that covers that portion of the state.